Hi everybody, Sweetie Sue's. I'm back with another thrift haul. Um, first, I want to show off my Stranger Things gear. I am super excited for Friday. Can't wait to see how they end the season. I'm rooting for the for the team, but it's not looking so good. Um, no spoilers. Anyways, uh, I just found this on eBay. It was just a random seller. Uh, if you know, you know. So I'm going to start out with a couple things I found at the thrift store this last weekend. I went to two different stores, uh, Ashland Goodwill and, or no, um, I went to the Medford Goodwill, South Medford Goodwill. Um, and then I also went to the White City Goodwill. So, um, first I'll start off with the non-clothing items. I found these, uh, Miller Studio, um, Oh, chalkware. Sorry, I forgot for a second, but they're these cute little baby angels. Um, they are dated 1968. There's the, where you'd see that it's from Miller Studios, 1968. There's the year right there. And it says Miller Studio right there on the top. Um, this will go in my bathroom. I have a collection of other chalkware and I actually have some vintage angels in there but they're plastic and I might replace them and put these up instead and I might sell the other ones or I'll keep them and just add more angels um and these were only these were marked down because I used uh, a discount but the uh they were originally priced at 4.99 that's not what I paid I paid about three dollars for those um next up I got this cute little bell um and the the reason I got this bell is because it says Mission in Riverside, California, and that's actually where my grandparents had their wedding dinner in uh, 1950. So I thought it was really special piece to have. Commemorates my grandparents' marriage, and um, I, if you're watching Grandma. If you're watching grandma, I got this because it reminded me of you guys. There it is. Mission in. Um, and I don't collect bells. I just got that one because it says mission in on it. And I actually also went there in 2000 and I think 2013. I had a friend that got married there. It was a really fun wedding. Um, also wedding related, I got this uh, cute little um, wall hanging, a little piece of wood. It actually says Crater Lake, Oregon on the back. And it says a happy marriage recipe, three cups of love, two cups, cups warmth, one cup forgiveness, one cup friends, four spoons hope, two spoons tenderness, one pinch faith, one barrel laughter combine love and warmth mix thoroughly with tenderness add forgiveness blend with friends and hope sprinkle all remaining tenderness stir in faith and laughter bake with sunshine serve daily with generous helpings i just thought that was super cute and um i may keep it i may gift it i haven't decided um a couple pieces of jewelry i got these uh little turquoise earrings i've tested them um, with a uh, nail polish remover to see if they are dyed howlite and there was no dye that came off and um, but they could possibly be um, um, stabilized um, I don't really see any spots that look too much like an added resin um, they could just be polished uh, turquoise but I feel like I'm doing enough research to know what to look for what not to buy it, it should be pretty easy to know that it's plastic or resin and not stone these to me are definitely a stone but um so that's what I got those were only two dollars and um another piece of jewelry I got was this really gorgeous tiger's eye gold amulet piece um, I thought it was really pretty. Um, this is probably from the 70s, maybe even early 80s. I just love that kind of 
symmetrical like infinity style around it kind of reminded me of like like a bug or something <laughs> I don't know but I thought it was neat and I love um, these type of long necklaces um, the last two non clothing items I got were these vintage um, I think these are originally used to hold like stockings or gloves or handkerchiefs and I actually like to use these to um, organize my bangles because they're great little slots to put bangles in and I might use these for my um, bake light collection. This was wasn't I didn't pay two thirty I paid less than that probably about two dollars for that one. And then I also found this other pink one and same thing I'll probably use it for my bangle collection. I haven't figured out how to display it yet, but that was probably less than $3 what I paid with a discount. Okay. And if you're curious about the discount, my husband is a veteran, so we use the veteran discount. Not all Goodwills offer it, but it's always good to ask. Um, so the next piece I got was this really adorable romper. Um, it's got a cute little frilly eyelet lacy uh, back and no tag so I'm guessing this might be a, like a homemade piece just based on how the stitching is kind of a zigzag oh, I can't focus I'm sorry um this was just under three dollars again with the discount and it was marked 24 months but I do not believe that this definitely is like six months or smaller so i'm adding this to my pile to possibly gift or uh, resell okay so the next couple of pieces i am keeping for myself i found this uh cute little torrid black rayon floral dress it's got and a really cute peach and white floral design to it. Um, and then next up, I got a t-shirt. I got this uh, black Pink Floyd, the wall um, art, flower art. If you've seen the video, you know what this is from. I found uh, this Bob Mackie wearable art um, captain. I really love this print. I love the colors. I love the flowers. And it's kind of a like a swimsuit material, like a stretchy material. And I've tried it on and it, it fits perfectly. I love the, the winged um, sleeves and this will be a fun piece either to wear as swimwear or to wear like a tiki event. Next up, I have a little fun story about this. I got this swimsuit and I will, I, first I eyeballed it because of the fabric. I love that hibiscus pineapple print, but I liked that it was like a play suit. So it's like shorts and it's by the brand Blair. And it says made in China. This is, so this is likely a newer piece, but I just, I just loved the kind of throwback retro vibe of it and while i was there um sorry if this is tmi but i had to step away to use the restroom and i only had two items i had two swimsuits in my hand and i knew i could take them into the restroom with me and no nobody would probably question anything but just the rule follower of that i am decided nope i'm going to leave them here right by the door and sure enough to come out, like not even two minutes later, somebody took this one. And I'm like, ah, so I, I quickly scanned through the store and I saw the lady that was carrying it. So I walked over and I just had, you know, told her, sorry, I left that hanging because I was using the restroom. May I have it back? And she gave it back to me and, and she said it was a good find. So she was nice about it. I, you know, I, I've just learned if, if you're nice and you're honest and you're upfront with people, usually you get a good reception back. Um. Next up, I got this gorgeous ivory linen embroidered um, 
dress. And I mean, this is just stunning. Um, this could, this could be worn as a wedding dress for someone maybe, but for now I'm going to keep it for me. Um, I think it's just so beautiful. There's the embroidery. Um, I'm guessing this is of Latin original, um, or origination. Um, uh, it originated from Latin America. I'll just say that. Um, and I have a couple other dresses that are like this and then research that I've done, they are from, um, not Mexico. Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. I mean, I know, I know I've done research before, but I think this is really similar to one of them that I already have. I have a really like a dark green one. And so now I have, um, ivory one. Um, next up I had intentionally bought this to resell it because I thought there was no way it would fit me, but it's a, a free people, um, free people size medium rayon skirt. And I, I absolutely love this style. I just didn't think that it would fit me because it was a size medium. Well, lo and behold, it fits me. So I'm keeping it. Um, so in the next five items or items I'm going to resell. I found this 80s swimsuit. It totally reminds me of the swimsuit that the mom wears in season three of um, Stranger Things. But this is legit. This is vintage. This is the real thing. It's from by the brand Robbie Lynn. And it is, it's got a union tag. So it's the real deal. At first I thought it was one of the um, reproduction pieces that they've been selling from the show. Like at one point I had Hopper's Hawaiian shirt. I had um, the romper that Eleven wears, the eighties, like black one with all the colors on it. And so when I saw this swimsuit, I thought, oh, I found another Stranger Things piece, but it's not, it's the real deal. So that's going to my shop. Um, I found another 90s dress. Uh, this is cute little burgundy floral. It's got shoulder pads. It's got the um, stretchy cincher belt in the back. It's a really nice cotton. Nope, it's rayon, well, rayon cotton. Um, it's by the brand, All That Jazz. That's one of my throwback brands from the 90s. I can remember eyeballing dresses at Mervyn's with that label. So that will be going in my shop. This one was kind of an odd find. Um, I don't really buy a lot of like newer pieces to resell unless they're like totally high end and I recognize the label, you know, kind of like the Madewell or, or like I've, I've sold a couple Dion von Furstenberg dresses, but this caught my eye because it still had the original tag on it. Um, and it just, I, I knew it was a quality piece. It was a cotton eyelet dress and the brand was, or is gal meets glam. And as it turns out, this is an anthropology brand. And I looked it up and brand new, these retail for over $200. So this is brand new. It still has the tag on it. And I paid about $7 for that. So they're gorgeous. If only it fit me, I'd probably keep it. I love that style. Um, and then I found another dress by the same brand. Um, and these are both size six for anybody that's interested. Um, this one doesn't have the tags, the original store tags on it, um, but it's in excellent condition. Again, it's the Gal Meets Glam brand size six. And this is a really gorgeous blue chiffon, kind of a 30s style dress. Ugh, if only this fit me. Um, 
can see the top. I mean, this is just stunning. This would be perfect for the Dunsmere um, Gatsby picnic. And it's got, you know, kind of a, I guess it's a full, um, it's maxi, so it's really long. But that print is just so adorable. It's birds and flowers. Let me show it there. Just a really gorgeous chiffon dress. So that will be going in my shop as well. And then actually this piece I bought at, um, I found this at the Ashland Artist Emporium. And it is a 19, early 1950s, um, like a navy blue with kind of this like really delicate ribbon detailing. Um, there's no tags in it, so there's no brand. I can tell somebody cut a tag out of it. That's always wonderful. Um, and it's like an acetate taff taffeta. And it's a full skirt. And it's just so pretty. It's really hard for me to pass up on pieces this old. Um, the zipper says Amker, A-M-K-E-R. So it's kind of, it's a different zipper that I've seen before, but that silhouette is definitely 50s, late 50s, late, or sorry, late 40s, early 50s. Kind of that new look with the fuller skirt. Okay, so my last item <laughs> is another 80s piece and it is, well, look at that sun is really capturing the top. But it's this uh, 80s prom dress or formal gown. Um, it's by the brand Mike Bennett Formals. It's a size, made in the US, it's a size, uh, it doesn't show the size. There's the tag, Mike, Mike Bennett. Um, but what draw, what, Drew me to this not only because of the color, not because of the just the pretty sparkles, but I'm pretty sure that the crystals or rhinestones on here are Swarovski crystals. They're the real deal. Um, and it's it's crystals. There's also glass beadwork. I mean, all the beadwork is in excellent condition. There's no issues with any of the sequins. So this was beautiful find. I love a good 80s dress. Um, the only thing was I did notice there were some really faint stains. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Yeah. There were some faint stains just like here. I did try to get those there. You can kind of see that. I tried to get them out the best of my knowledge without destroying the rest of the dress. There are a couple like snags because this is like a it's like a thicker satin, um, maybe double layered satin, but, um, but overall, I mean, the dress is in great condition. I don't think those stains would stop anybody from wearing it. It's in great condition. Um, so that was my last find, this beautiful pink rhinestone dress. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I will post another one soon when I find more. Bye.